I hope Keaton Jones goes to that Avengers premiere in Los Angeles, but next year is a long way off when you're being bullied. Keaton is the Knoxville 10 middle schooler whose tearful video about being bullied was viewed more than 20 million times by Monday morning. Celebrities, athletes and politicians have been tweeting their support. Sean Hannity offered to make the calls myself and fix this. Chris Evans, a.k.a. Captain America, had this to say on Twitter. Stay strong, Keaton. Don't let them make you turn cold. I promise it gets better. While those punks at your school are deciding what kind of people they want to be in this world, how would you and your mom like to come to the Avengers premiere in L.A. next year? Some 3.2 million students are bullied each year, according to DoSomething.org, a global campaign to fight bullying. One in four teachers see nothing wrong with bullying, the group reports, and will only intervene 4% of the time. Good-hearted celebrities aren't enough. Schools and parents need to shut down bullying in the moment. I listened to an NPR interview Saturday with James Hahn Matson, author of the new novel, The Lost Prayers of Ricky Graves. Matson, a George Washington University writing instructor, said the book was partly inspired by the death of Tyler Clementi, who committed suicide after his roommate at Rutgers secretly recorded, and then publicized, video of Tyler kissing a man. I thought of something Matson said when I first read about the outpouring of support for Keaton. Host Scott Simon asked Matson about writer Dan Savage's It Gets Better project, in which adults share videos talking about their own experiences being bullied to give LGBTQ kids hope. Matson had this to say. I think if you're actually a teenager going through bullying and you're hearing this adult person telling you to kind of just wait, it gets better, first of all, I'm thinking, you're an adult. You're an old person, and so, like, I've automatically separated you into this other completely different world that I never think I'm going to populate. And then, I also think that if you're being a bullied teenager, one of the worst things to say is just wait because every single day is so difficult and so tortuous. And in the book, Jeremy kind of tells Ricky that he should wait, and Ricky just can't. Ricky needs to, I mean, he only has a few months left of school, but every day is very tortuous for him. So he can't wait.